Welcome to Cord Art. Um, been doodling again and I made this cat which I've shown on my timeline. Um, it's a doodle cat. So we're going to make something that looks a bit like this. It won't look exactly like it, but um, there's a few knacks to making this. Um, let's just see what we've got here. We've got a, a monkey's fist for the top and we're going to use um, uh, a polystyrene ball and that is one and a half inches wide or 40 millimeter yeah that's going to be for the head we're going to adapt that slightly so that uh, we cut a little bit off the bottom so that it gives us that squashy look of the head but that's going to be the monkey's fist and as I say, 10, 10, 10 to 11 feet of cord for that one. We're going to do something new with the body. We're going to do um, a crown knot around a ball. Now that's an inch ball. Um, inch is two po uh, 25 millimeter polystyrene ball. Um, so that's that. So those two will end up, I've taped over the head ready for um, the monkey's fist that's um, this masking tape yeah I've masked up an inch ball as well gone out of shape a little bit but it doesn't really matter so those two are ready to go these are just to show you what I'm using um, what else will we need we'll need for that body to actually do that we'll need uh, one two three I think it's three lengths of three feet of cord to the, you know the color that you want we're going to be needing a bit of cord for doing a crown knot for the tail now the tail is uh, two pieces of cord doubled over and then that's going to be um, put into a crown knot just about around here. Then we drop one cord off and it becomes three cords. So his tail diminishes along that way. Yeah. Um, a little heart knot for the nose. Some whiskers. These are one millimetre just slotted through each side. Three of those. There's a couple of bit of two mil going across the eye. Not too happy with those, but uh, there you go. Um, the ears are two two mil angel's wings, and they've got five bites on each. Uh, the eyes. Now the eyes, as per usual, I um, you see me squashing that. I mean, it, you can actually open it up and see the ball inside, which. It's only an inch ball, but it's not a tight weave. Well, I say it's a tight weave, but it doesn't come out all that tight, but it, it works. So with the eyes, um, we've, we, we revert back to um, using some hot glue. So we're going to need a hot glue gun. And I've got some eyes here, uh, eyes that I've used for something else. Well. They never made the grade, to be quite honest, but they're going to make the grade for this one. Um, that's yellow at the moment. It won't be. Um, so they're just dollops of glue. Um, or I've got two slightly bigger ones. Yeah, two bits of glue. Or we've got some similar to the eyes that uh, we've just put onto that cat. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is the monkey's fist around this shape yeah this one hasn't got any tape on it so that's why that this one looks slightly smaller it's just compacted um, so what I'll do is I'll set up for doing the monkey's fist on this one we basically do five turns going up the ball six over and six over the other side but I'll show you that as we make this monkey's fist what other equipment we're we going to need obviously scissors a lighter um, a fid here and there um, a bunch of pins 
yeah a bunch of pins it's definitely for the body we need pins and then when we we're setting up the face we need to pin things on before and the ears before we actually glue them so glue yeah hot glue and perhaps a touch of uh, super glue here and there but not a lot um, anything else well yeah you'll need the cutting knife to be able to slice off that little bit of polystyrene ball from there I mean it's up to you how thin you want to make the head that way but I've taken off what not even 10 mil it's probably about 8 mil um, but it's still it will still work if you take 10 mil or 8 mil off so we've used that so I'll come back to you once I've um, set my jig up okay with this ball in it back shortly welcome back here's the jig with um, our uh, inch and a half ball adapted inch and a half ball inside of it with the tape around it we're going to put the flat on the base i've got um i think it's about 11 foot of this this cord now you think oh why is he putting that cord on there that's not the right color it's just something i want to use up um, and this is as good a project as any so what we're going to do is go around got a fit on there yeah on the 10 feet we're going to go around three times one two and three three times around there get hold of both ends keep them tight while we put a pin well I'll let it go there you go again we're going to put a pin where we started off which was there up through those cords so that they all stay together we hope right so now I know that those cords aren't going to go too far yeah so we got that pin up through that corner now I only want five I believe um, around this this way we just count them two I can't see it at the back two oh well, there's six there's six going up up this one so we could we do six keep to pattern I'm just going to change where I put the pin because I want a starting point over here I know that might sound a little bit crazy but uh, yeah I'm happier with it there so we've got um, so we started here we've got um, one two three four five so we need to go around one more time just to there so we started there and we're finishing there here I'm going to make sure that our ball has got the flat side downwards just put it into there I mean I know that you've all got different jigs so it'll come out slightly you'll have to use them slightly differently but this is the way I use mine now we're going to aim for how many across the top two four six seven I knew it was odd so we've gone six up and we're just going to go seven across now so that that pin has done its work now it's kept the cords in in position it's 
looking good. And what I'd say is once you've decided on the eyes that you want, I mean, you can put any eyes on there, you can put Google eyes on there, or you can buy cat's eyes online. Um, it's your choice really, but I like making them out of glue. And when I've made this monkey's fist, I'll probably go on to painting those um, eyes because it's one of the first things that you need to do. I just wanted to size them onto the face before I do that. So how many have we got there now? We're just coming up to the fifth one, so it's five. I might have this jig slightly too small, settings too small, um, to allow me to put seven in, but we'll have a go. we got in there now two four six I need another one over the top so we come around the bottom making sure that we can just get that one in up the side push those in a bit at the top so we can go over one more time Bit of luck we'll end up with those seven there bit of mucking around but we're there just count those up again um, two four oh I've ended up with eight on top I didn't want that many two four Two, four, six, eight. I can take one of those out. I only want seven. So that's our seven to there. Yeah. Now the idea is that we have seven going this way as well. So we've got uh, six coming up the body, up this way, seven across this way. We're just going to go down inside of here. Yeah. Uh, which we'll do. Take this one back slightly. down through there like so and I'll come back to you when I've done seven going round this way I'll just do do one of those so we need to go under back up inside of here and over the top I'll come back to you when I finish those well there we go we've got the uh, six upwards we've got seven going over that way seven going over that way it's a shame that the pattern there, because it stayed, uh, when you tighten up, you'll lose the pattern to a degree. But uh, it's in the luck of the gods, to be quite honest, what it hang ends up at. But I'm gonna remove this now. I've got about a foot left. Um, could have probably done with 10, but I, I do get fed up when I run out of, of uh, cord doing monkey's fists and have to join bits and pieces. So I made it 11, I'd stick with 11. Going to remove this from the jig, remove the fid because it weighs everything down, and then we're going to find with the short end. We're going to make sure that we know where we are with things, make sure that everything's smartened up. So I bring the small end down to the right hand bottom, 
and then I bring it up and just place it on the, the cords that are facing me. Yeah, like so. I know that they're all going round that way then. So I'm going to just slowly but surely tighten them up. And I'm not going to do all that on screen because this isn't really the main idea of showing how the project is done. It's all about the body really. But um, I'll come back to you when I've tightened this up nice and tight. Well, there's the monkey's fist. Um, as I say, I've tried to chase the pattern a little bit, but uh, you tend to lose uh, lose bits and pieces. I mean, you, it goes out of shape if you try and pull it too tight. But that's going to be his head. So the next thing we've got to think about is some ears. Um, I'm going to have to make some more eyes. I think these, the ones I've made so far, could possibly be too big so i'm gonna to have to get my hot glue gun out and do some more dripping onto a piece of um, solid surface see if i can get some smaller eyes before i start painting them i think all the ones that i've actually got out of the box um, that i've made before um, are too big but um so what color ears um i just might go for pink actually uh, pink might be good, blue eyes, yeah, white whiskers, we'll see. I'll, I'll come back to you when I've uh, got some cord sorted out and we're going to make some ears for his head. Welcome back, we're going to try and make the ears next. Um, angel's wing, yeah, it's got five bites along the bottom just there now I'm not sure if you're aware of it but there is a, a left-handed and a right-handed angel's wing um, it's not all that important but I like to do on a project like this one left-handed and one right-handed um, <clears throat> I'll point that out as we're making this is a right-handed so you, you can hardly tell that it's a right-handed um, but you can see that it's sloping down this way well the other one will be sloping down the other way so this is a right-handed angel's wing and we come to how we differentiate between a right and a left-handed um, so we put that to one side for a moment I just wanted to bring your attention to the eye making process that I go through I mean everybody's going to have their own ideas of making eyes now this is lots of blobs of hot glue the hot glue gun which is thus yeah just pressed out and then you have to con try and control the drip onto the top of the blob of glue but they've gone off so that that's plenty of eyes for future projects. Um, I've taken, oh, how many have I taken? Six of those in the process of painting two of those green, yeah, like so. Um, I've gone a little bit further with the ones that I'm painting blue. So they've got a white background and then blue paint well I used a pair of compasses a very small pair of compasses to get the circle in the middle so we painted white painted blue and then with a baro pen I've actually put the eye pupil in there so that's what part of the eye procedure looks like let's go on to making the ear give myself a bit of space we're going to grab our hank of I'll well, run it over with my wheelie now grab a hank of cord the color that you want you can see I'm in a bit of a mess with that but I've managed to release or oh, a good portion of it so that we can actually get down to business in making an ear I've um, melted that over at the end now to make a angel's wing we need to have the cord coming over like so 
Now you remember I said, oh, we can have a, a left or a right. Well, a right, as I see it, comes in front of the chord and the left starts behind the chord. So we're gonna do a left. So I'm gonna find the point just about there and stick a pin through there so it doesn't go anywhere. Then we have our loop going to the back of this horizontal chord. And then we want five bytes. So we come up through five times. See if we can get it, keep it on shot. So there's one byte. We'll bring it around and under, same loop. Over, under. We now have two bytes, one being there. Oops, let's pull a bit more cord through there. Go for a third. Over, under. Over and under. Like so. Three bytes there now. Just part them slightly. Another loop up and under. Over. Keeping them in line. Don't want them crossing. So now we have four bytes. One, two, three, four. We want a fifth. Now normally you just, um, I've said this before, could just cut off down the bottom here, thread it up through and you've got five. But I like to take the loop up through. Saves me a bit of cord in the long run. Up like so. So this is going to be our left-handed. Whether the left hand goes on the left-hand side of the head or not is debatable because I might have the left and the right around the wrong way. But uh, as you can see, we've now got one, let's bring it closer, one, two, three. Don't worry about that chord there, four, five. And we're going to tighten that up. So we'll take our pin out now. That's done its job. Pull on that one so that we bring it through. Gives you that sort of effect. Now we're going to be concentrating on this, this knot here. We want to tighten that. It's coming, this is coming right the way through the bottom around and then uh, encapsulating the bottom cord. So we're going to give that a bit of a tighten there. Put it nice and tight. Then our spare piece of cord is going to go through the knot. Now I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to tighten it up for the first time, then show you how I get it mega tight with a pair of pliers back shortly. Well, there's our first tightening. I've tightened right the way through. You can see that I've still got the big loop that comes from the top. The reason I do that is because I can actually gain all that cord back on my spool, if you like. If I just pull it down through to a reasonable level, I've saved about two or three feet of cord, which would have been wastage. So there's our loop. We'll give that a cut. 
see the scissors and we pull the bulk down through you see that we have a gap in the middle but that just disappears quite easily when we're doing our next tighten up now you can see that there's quite a lot of difference between the sizes of the two this has been pulled down with a pair of pliers to get it as tight as I can the process is just exactly the same um, we're going to concentrate our efforts on this bottom knot here pull the slack through and then work through I'll dip into this as I'm got about halfway okay but it's a diff bit difficult to show on line with two mil cord but we'll have a go just show a bit of this so we're going to bring the slack through and round get a good old tug this is as tight as I'm I'm actually tying a angel's wing as I say a bit difficult find your spot there it is there's the slack coming through but it does have to be quite firm I'm going to take it through the knot now um, or are we no we're not we're not quite there we've got to come up another one coming through the knot keeping it really tight my fingers are far too big to, tr to achieve the tightness that I want just work it through it will work in the end the danger with this is you can damage the cord if you get hold of it just wrong you end up with uh, frayed bits I might have to go through this one more time like this if it's not the same size as the original it's a matter of matching uh, the other ear it's a matter of matching them up now we don't want to lose this end so I tend to tuck it down out the way control it myself bring that last loop up like so like so and then go back down again that one's in no danger now so it can come back up we'll just tighten that down the knot around the base and then we're on the home stretch feeling it's still too big but we'll have a look no that's fine the difference is negligible so I'm just gonna cut and heat that top bit there the 
I'm going to take a look at both of them and hopefully you can see what I mean when I, I say we got a left and a right handed. Um, let's get see if we can get a good shot there. Can you see that one slopes down one way, one slopes down the other way? Yeah, whether this one goes on to the right and this one goes on to the left, I'm not sure. It might be that they go around like so. It does give you a chance as well, if you've got a nice piece of cord left over, to actually be able to thread that into the head itself as extra um, support. On Doodle Cat here, we didn't do that. We just uh, glued it into position. But it's uh, room for thought. Right, so that's the ears. We'll chuck the ears over that way. We'll let the eyes dry because the green ones are still drying. Let's give ourselves a bit of space here because what we're going to try and do now is the body. Yeah, I've made another body, not for not for the cat that we're doing, but as you can see. He's turned out quite well. Perhaps he's going to have a head as well. I don't know. See where the t my time goes. But uh, yeah, you can see that it's uh, it turns out quite well. And as I say, that's doing a, a knot around this inch taped polystyrene ball. So there's one of these inside of there, yeah? So how are we going to go about that? Well... I'm up for a game. Uh, what we're going to need, we're going to need three pieces of three feet of cord of your liking. Um, we're going to have to have the ends prepared for at least one with the ends prepared for a fid. So we're going to need a fid. Three pieces of cord. This ball. What else do we need? Uh, at least, excuse me, at least six pins. Got to have six pins or else the thing will fall to bits. So let's have a look at this. We've got our three pieces of cord, three feet long. These are actually 34 inches long, but three feet long. And what we're going to do is find the centers of two of them. So the, the way to do that is obviously um, get all the ends together, just the two of them this is, go down to the centre, yeah, like so, hold the centre, just twist one over the top of the other, so that you've got one on top and one below, like so. So that's more or less the centre of these two, these two cords. Um, I haven't got any real filming equipment. This is just on my iPad. So we're just going to do a basic a square knot on there. One over there, two over there, three over there. Keep them in a bit because we don't want to lose our center. And then the last one is going to go through the first one's loop that we made, like so. Bring it in so, so that we got the center somewhere close to where we want it. Like so, like so. And we're getting there. We're getting our square knot or crown knot, whichever you want to call it. So there we go. Nice and tight. Pretty pattern this side, line over this side. We're going to be covering the line, yeah? We're going to be covering that line. We're not going to be working this way, we're going to be working this way. So that's one crown knot. Let's do one more. One, two, three, fourth one goes through the first one's loop. Like 
like so. Right, now this doesn't need to be too tight, that second one, because we're going to introduce another chord. So we've got our third chord of three feet. See if I can get a fit on it. Now I've chose to go, I don't know if we can see that, yeah, in there on that loop and then like that. So it's going diagonally across the knot here because I want some more chords. Just even those up a bit. Fit can come off and then we can spend a little bit of time tightening that knot around our extra cord. Nearly pulled it out then, so that stays there. So we've ended up with that effect here. Yeah. Right, we're going to, oops, nearly pulled my cord through again. So we're going to now do one more crown knot with all six. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one down through the hole. Oh, cat's gone walking. Right, now you can't pull the extra cords too much because they just pull right the way through. But we're going to slowly but surely just pull all those together. Bit at a time. I know you can chase yourself on this six six sided sort of uh, knot so I don't want to spend too much time on it we end up with that sort of effect now here comes the tricky bit and there's no two ways about this this is a slow process to actually achieve putting a crown knot around a ball yeah what we're going to start off with is pressing it on there, not too tight. And then it's a series of six, making sure that they're reasonably tight before you put them in. The loops coming round, I'm putting um, a pin in each. So as I've gone to one, I'm going in at an angle, so it's not straight down. There's another one there, so we'll just make sure that that one's tight. And we'll put a pin in there, like so. Come round to the next one. Just give it a little bit of a, a keep in place tighten. One there. I think we've got one more to do, maybe two. But you can put as many pins in as you want. Um, I think I've used seven doing that white ball that I just showed you. Now, yeah, there's one there. That's got to be tightened there. So, 
it's a slow process you've got to now tighten a uh, sorry tighten that's tight enough like that you'll find that it is even no matter how hard you try to make it tight it will stay a fairly i mean this was the best i could do um it, it will come apart sort of thing you, you can prise it apart but as you get down to the bottom and start being able to get some force on it it pushes the ball up inside yeah um i'm going to get this one going and then i'm going to come back to you in and out of this because this is going to probably take me a good 15 minutes to actually achieve okay so i'll see you in a bit so still quite at the beginning of this process but you can see that the pins have now moved down as i move down i've ended up with a pin holding down each of the cords so, so i'm going to go in for another round of this now and just maneuver it into position and pin it so you'll get to this point which is just about going over the last part of the curve to the ball and you'll find it a lot easier but you can see that i've been following down with the pins i've got a pin in each cord holding it into its next position yeah well that one should be there i'll get it in yeah <clears throat> so i'm gonna you can see that i've still got plenty of cord so that's good i've tried to do this as tight as possible but it's still quite slack around the ball but it doesn't did to take away so i'm going to finish that one off now finish that off and i'll come back to you yeah well there you go that's then probably the most awkward part of this uh little project but i'm quite pleased with that that's turned out really quite well as good as the uh, white one that i've made um and probably a little bit better than the first one which was the black one on the cat but uh, obviously the cords make a difference as well, who you buy your cords off of. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. We're going to now look at um, how we fit one to t'other and how we actually fit the ears. Um, I'll just mention how I fix one to the other um obviously we've got to make a hole down through the center of there and that's usually with a fid i use a sharp thin fid because having in mind at the bottom of this um first knot here is a cord going across so i feed it down through um make a hole into the ball and then i'll grab hold of a piece of um two millimeter cord put some wire in it push that down through more or less to the bottom so it holds it tight this has got wire in it here and then a hole underneath and that goes up through as well holds it like so um, with a drop of glue between the two but I usually put the head on once I've done a little bit more to it so uh, what have we got left to do? We've got the ears to put on, the eyes to put on, a nose to make. Well, this isn't the nose, but it's, it's going to be a little heart shape. And a little heart shape is so easy to make. It's a snake knot. Um, plus, actually, it's quite easy to do. Um, gives you a nice little heart shape like that. Um, and I'll be using a different colour for this one. Um, but I'm going to take a break from this now um, and we'll come back, we'll sort the head out, we'll sort the body out. Of course, we're going to make a, a nice tail for it. Um, I have debated whether I'd use two millimeter cord on this, this one, but I think I'll stick with the 550. Come back to you shortly, stand you up. Well, welcome back. Um, let's put his ears on. What I've done is I've divided, well, 
I've separated four back. Yeah, four chords back. So I've got a bit of a gap there. Same on the other side. So what I'm going to do with that is put some hot glue in like so. Then stick his ear between those cords. Yeah. Like so. So that's one ear. Do the same on the other side. The cable's not quite long enough on my glue gun, but we'll get there. Nice bit of glue in between that fourth and fifth cord back. And we'll push him in. Make sure there's not too much glue showing. And there we have his ears. Okay. Well, right, on to the next part. We need to think about his tail. Well, before we leave the head, just wanted to show you what I'm, I've been attempting to do. I've been making a couple of pairs of eyes. There's either these ones. Well, let's put a pin in there so you can see what I'm on about. So there's either an eye like that and the other one obviously comes like so here. Yeah. These are out those bits of glue with a bit of cord around. Or we can have eyes like this, which I quite like. Uh, let's put a pin in there if I can. Yeah, pin in there. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Let's put another one on so we can show you what we're, what we're about. Uh, another pin. I think once I've played around with it a little bit, it'll probably be those two. A nice little mouth below. Yeah. And he's starting to take shape. Probably have to just uh, readjust this. That eye doesn't look quite as it should do. It's sideways and it shouldn't be. Um, but I'm sure I can overcome that. Um, we'll have some little whiskers coming out here of one mil. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it so far. Right, on to the next. Now we've got his body. We need to give him a tail. Now it's surprising how much cord goes into the tail. I've got two 40 inch pieces here. Now I've gutted this cord because if you leave it whole, the, with the dimensions of this body, the tail looks a bit too thick. So you could choose a spot, probably somewhere where you haven't done so well. I can't find one here because I'm perfect, but uh, we'll go underneath one, just like so. Bring them down. That's about right. Yeah, you'll need about 40 inches of on each cord. So that's one in. The other one wants to be fairly close to it, but uh, somehow to give us um, a cross. Now, what I did with the other one is I went underneath one cord, and then on the next one, I went underneath that cord plus the one underneath it. Don't know if I can just get there like so. Yeah, you don't want to be too far down, uh, too near the base. You need to be up a little bit, yeah? And then we're gonna um, carry on and do a square knot, which will come out at the back of the cat there. We're, we're going to make it long enough to go right the way around the body at the front. Yeah. And then we're going to diminish from four down to three, just about here, to the last bit in three. Now this is whole cord, but it's only three millimeter black. So that's why I didn't have to gut that piece. But uh, 
I'm going to gut this coloured one. I'm going to carry on and do a good bit of uh, crown knot down there. And then I'll come back to you. Well, there you go. Um, so it's starting to come now. I mean, I've taken it from the back. It will actually come around this way, like so. But uh, yeah, just a basic crown knot with gutted cord. Um, make sure that I'm on line there, something like that. And over, 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 and down through the first loop. Tighten up. Needs to be quite tight on the tail. Tighter than you can get it, the better. Do one more before, then I'll go on uh, to the point where I'm going to leave one out and just show you what I'm doing there. So over, 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 down through. Yeah. Pull them tight. Now I want to get the tail just the other side of the body before I start to diminish by one. So if you can imagine that this is the back, now that's going to come round like so. So I need to bring it to about here with all four chords, just to about here. Then we'll di diminish one and we'll do the last bit. So it turns out a bit like that. So there's four, just there, dropped one, and that's the three. I wish I'd used um, the smaller cord now, but uh, I think this will turn out okay still. Starting to look uh, the business. So I'll come back to you when I've got round to that other side. Right, back to the tail. We've got it to the position that I want it, so it goes round and it's just starting to go back round the other, the other side of the body. So which one are we going to drop? Can you see that I put a knot in that one? That's because that is closest to the body. So I'm going to now carry on with a crown knot with just the same direction with three. Leave this one out. And we can tighten that down. Needs to be nice and tight. Again. And how many you actually do is down to, you know, how long you want the tail. Um, I gave a measurement of 40 inches. It would only be more or less enough to do what I'm doing. If you wanted to make the tail longer, you need to add a couple of inches to the cord. Yeah. That one's getting left behind now. Down through there. Tighten up. Once you've got a little way, you'll see that it's good to diminish the tail because it starts to go into a thinner end. Well, that's the idea. I'm going to get a phone call in a minute, say my dinner's ready. So I might have to continue with this later. I'd like to show you the effect if I can. Can 
can see the triangular yeah goes like so yeah Let's see if we can see the effect now let's just cut that one off we don't need it anymore idea is that it gets thinner I'm gonna probably go on about another three or four not quite sure five at the most I would have thought but I'll come back to you after that yeah well, welcome back another day another dollar here uh, as you can see I completed the tail uh, I've got a nice little swirl going up there um, I have attempted to put a hole down through um, I've got a little bit of two mil with a piece of wire in here. I don't intend on going right down into the ball, just enough to actually get past those two, two or three cords there. Then there'll be a hole in the head and that goes up inside the head glued together. So we're doing quite well there. Um, want to bring your attention to how to do a little heart knot for his nose. Now I'm gonna do this in 550 so that I can show you. But it's so easy, it's just a snake knot plus really. I mean there are tutorials on there on online but uh put a cord, piece of cord, take the bottom one over to the top and bring it round underneath. Nice little cross underneath. See that bit underneath, that one there? So this one, which we've gone over, it's gonna come under. So we've got a snake knot. So there you go, look, that. there's a snake knot. Now if we actually decrease that right down, slowly but surely, down to this loop here. I wanna keep it going. But you've got to remember that you've got to get your cords. So there's our snake knot with a loop. Yeah, just going to get that as best as I can. Snake knot with a loop. The right hand side one will come on top and down through. Yeah. I've probably left enough space for myself. The left hand side one will go behind and back up through. Yep, got enough there. So that comes back up through. So we got that that sort of effect. Yeah. So when we we'll grab those two at the bottom there and carry on tightening that. snake knot and we just pull that one pull that one and you end up with a heart obviously snip those two off melt them and you have a heart but that's the shape that i want for our cat's nose but uh, perhaps not in red. Let's have a look what I've been doing behind the scenes. So we've got his eyes just about in the position, excuse me, <coughs> his eyes just about in the right position. We've done a little heart knot in black. Now what I'm gonna do, I didn't do it with the first one, but it's come as an idea. We're just gonna bring its jowls round like so now what i'm going to i'm going to actually put that up behind these horizontal cords and just glue it into position um what else we got left after that um we've got whiskers and that's going to be in one millimeter 
I think probably black. And all I do is get a fid, if I can find a fid. Well, I haven't got a fid, but I've got a needle. This is what I'd actually be doing doing it with, is a large um, blunt darning needle. Just put a piece of cord on it, bring it underneath, underneath that cord there, like so. won't work for me there you go I'll just be putting it through there bringing the cord through bringing bring in the one millimeter right just so it disappears behind there touch of super glue coming down there so I'll, I'll have three whiskers as I say I took them behind there brought them out here cut them to length trick to keep them stiff is just to actually dribble let a piece of super glue roll down the, the cord so that it's solid so the next time you see this cat that we're making hopefully i've just titivated it because i mean the face is really down to the person's wants really but this is how he's going to look hopefully when I've got him done with a few whiskers and I'll come back to you when he's complete. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, here he is. He's turned out quite well, hasn't he? I'm quite pleased with him. Um, see if I can grab the right one. Whoops. So he's got nice little blue eyes, black whiskers, a nice colorful body and his ears so he can stay there there's the original and in the meantime I've been making this where's he gone or where's she gone nice little white one with a few extra bits and pieces here and there well hope you've enjoyed this uh, video as I say there they are what do you call a a crowd of cats is that pride i don't know um but thanks for watching cheers bye bye